had a very fruitful and productive discussion. It was my pleasure to host the uh, host and co-chair the seventh India-U.S. Economic and Financial Partnership Dialogue with Secretary Unuchin in New Delhi today. India-U.S. relationship at, is at an all-time height, particular, particularly after our Honorable Prime Minister's visit to the USA in September 2019. The financial and economic partnership is meant to deepen the economic partnership between the two countries as a framework commensurate with the growing importance of our economic relations. The significant business and cultural ties that already exist between the two nations and to advance work in a number of areas to improve cooperation and support for economic development. India and the United States, as two of the world's largest democracies, have shared interest in each other's economic prosperity and in ensuring our economic security. Our discussions took stock of the efforts undertaken to further improve mutual cooperation on a wide range of bilateral and multilateral subjects, including macroeconomic policies to raise growth, improving financial market development, anti-money laundering, and combating financing of terrorism. We not only discussed policies to stimulate growth, but also deliberated on the significant steps India and US have taken to strengthen the financial sector, including bank recapitalization, and plan to merge some of the state-owned state -owned banks. We discussed capital flows, investment in infrastructure, deepening of our financial relations, closer people-to-people -people ties, as also cooperation in the overall global economic context. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. To make his opening remarks. Thank you very much. It's uh, a pleasure to be here today. Uh, I'd like to thank the minister for hosting our team. We very much appreciate this. Uh, we've had a very productive day here today. I, I want to especially highlight the U.S.-India Economic and Financial Partnership. We spent several hours with the team working on very specific issues as well as some very strategic issues. And I'm pleased that we were just able to participate in the signing ceremony uh, concluding our, our event. Clearly, we are working together to promote growth and improve economic security in both of our countries. I want to very much comment, and I look forward to the government's goal of $5 trillion. And uh, I think that they're going to hit that goal even faster than they expect with what are great economic opportunities as they promote growth. I'd also, we welcome growing bilateral foreign direct investment flows between our countries, and we look forward to the opening up of certain markets where U.S. companies can continue to invest here. We discuss the importance of paying greater attention to transparency and debt sustainability in developing lending in Asia and beyond, and we look forward to working on both a bilateral as well as a multilateral basis through the G20 and other areas. Uh, I would also just comment, uh, I started my day today with a lunch uh, at our ambassador's house with a group of business leaders here, and I couldn't be more optimistic after listening to them about the various different opportunities. And I would also like to thank you and your team for the bilateral that we had uh, as well today. And then uh, I would be remiss since we're doing a press conference not sure everybody saw it, but uh, the jobs numbers just came out in the United States and reflect a, another great instance of President Trump's economic program in the U.S. Thank you, sir. We shall now have four questions from the media. I will invite two representatives from each from the Indian side and the American side to ask their questions to their leaders. I request you to introduce yourself and your organization before asking the question. Please be brief. I first invite Ms. Shruti Shrivastava. Uh, 
comment that uh, I, I had to briefly leave the meeting for a short period of time because uh, I was on a call with Ambassador Lighthizer and the Vice Premier of China, and I would just say we continue to make progress on this, uh, and we're obviously, uh, everybody knows that the APEC meeting in Chile was canceled, and we're in discussions about alternatives. So we're, both sides are working hard under both President Trump and President Xi's direction to conclude the deal. The next question is from the Indian side. I invite Mr. Arun Sharma. Good evening, sir. I'm Arun from DD News. I just want to know that which were the prominent sectors uh, that were discussed or major highlights uh, uh, between the two countries that were discussed in the meeting and were some of the issues between India and U.S. trade that was also discussed in the meeting, sir? Well, I, I think we really, we had a very broad discussion on uh, regulatory issues, economic issues, uh, bond markets, technical assistance, debt sustainability, uh, FATF in, in combating terrorist financing. That's something that we, we both see as a big priority. And uh, I would just say, uh, although we didn't really spend a lot of time on trade, we briefly touched on the trade relationship and expanding the trade relationship between the two countries. The next question is from the American side. I invite Manoj Kumar. Thank you. My question goes to the Secretary and the President. Under every year, the government has supported to implement sanctions against Iran. So, what has been India's response by considering its historical, economic, and political ties with Iran? And it's already and Can you please update us on Sure. Well, let me comment on on the Iran sanctions. I think uh, I think you're aware of uh, the U.S. has put sanctions on oil purchases and other areas from Iran. This isn't directed at the Iranian people. This is really directed at what we see as a significant security concern. Uh, the issue around us being determined that there are not nuclear weapons, uh, ballistic missiles, exporting of terror, uh, and we've been working with our allies to make sure that there is significant supply in the market of oil to offset the sanctions. I just came from the Middle East and was in Saudi Arabia where I met with the, the energy minister and others, and uh, I think they and others have done a very good job so that it doesn't have an economic impact. We are sensitive to the fact that India has tremendous energy needs. We look forward to working with India on LNG uh, and, and expanding their capabilities, but uh, we had productive discussions on that today. Thanks. Then final. On which question? Um, Yes, you've heard Secretary Munuchin talk about it. From our side, we did explain the uh, Indian position, particularly the need for us to maintain land-based access to Afghanistan, particularly, therefore, the need for us to have the Chabahar link and to Chabahar, the red link with which we are able to reach out to Afghanistan, and also recently how successfully Afghanistan was able to export 700 tons of um, quite a large quantity of uh, the agricultural produce using this access to seaport. Uh, also for strategic and other reasons, it was important for us to continue with that and that to my understanding is uh, well heard and taken cognizance of by the American side. So we have explained the need for us to have to maintain our links to Chabahar for Afghanistan's sake, considering the uh, extent of our commitment for developing the social and other infrastructure in Afghanistan. Also in the context of Pakistan continuously denying us access to land route. The and I would what, just add that we, we had a very constructive conversation on that topic and we'll be following up and speaking more on it. The final question now. 
I invite Mr. Dipanka to. I'm Pankar from UK. Uh, uh, I would like to uh, uh, get some comments with regard to how such kind of financial dialogue has been tackling this money program uh, since by India. Well, you know, when, when I look at the scale of this economy and the potential of this economy uh, and the agenda that this uh, government has, I don't focus so much on the short-term numbers. I, I, I focus on the structural changes that they're making, that what they're doing, and, and, and again, I, I think there are great opportunities to grow this economy tremendously. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.